Fiscal year 1999, 2.3 trillion missing. Fiscal year 2000, 1.1 trillion missing. And DOD is the number one reason why the reason why the government can't balance his checkbook. Said, let there be light. David's contribution to the written with the decapitation guy. Not know where they were going. Receptacle enough, mother. That isn't true. They did not. Behold the dawn of freedom. Thou shalt not covet anything that is in thy neighborhood. Because people were still hungry. What's at the dead center of the picture? Because he knew not the light of God's law. And Abraham the weak were made to serve the strong. Bourgeoisie. Arms flesh, bodies. We're meeting together without the king's permission. It's a picture filled with noise. The roar of the oath. Well, we are all dead men. One man. And to prove whether they Crash of a great electrical no. storm. We stand alone. The revolution. Against an ember. As an unstoppable force of nature. Against an ember. Would be written Paris God's Paris law. Was literally a power to We are all waiting dead. to happen. Would soon be quaintly out of date. Great message of unity and freedom. We are all. And at the center of it all. Was to blame. And as you can see, instead of arms outstretched, it's filled with light. There was an epidemic of finger pointing. It's not empty at all. The furious energy of liberty. It's an idea. Except. An idea so big, it dwarfs the humans who enact it. It was never finished. Before David even had many of them would be dead. Or disgraced. In 2005, when Representative Cynthia McKinney grilled Donald Rumsfeld during the House hearings on the 2006 budget for the U.S. Department of Defense. Let's listen to McKinney as she questions Rumsfeld on the missing trillions and hear Rumsfeld's pathetic response. plague vaccine through the Joint Vaccine Acquisition Program. Mr. Secretary, is it policy of the U.S. government to reward companies that traffic in women and little girls? That's my first question. Mr. Secretary, is it policy of the U.S. government to reward companies that traffic in women and little girls? That's my first question. My second question, Mr. Secretary, according to the Comptroller General of the United States, there are serious financial pro management problems at the Pentagon, to which Mr. Cooper alluded.
I thank the uh, gentleman, the uh, gentlelady from uh, Georgia, Ms. McKinney. Oh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Secretary, I watched President Bush deliver a moving speech at the United Nations in September 2003 in which he, mission, he mentioned the crisis of the sex trade. The president called for the punishment of those involved in this horrible business. But at the very moment of that speech, DynCor was exposed for having been involved in the buying and selling of young women and children. While all of this was going on, DynCor kept the Pentagon contract to administer the smallpox and anthrax vaccines and is now working on a plague vaccine through the Joint Vaccine Acquisition Program. John has claimed year after year that the reason it can't account for the money is because its computers don't communicate with each other. My second question, Mr. Secretary, is who has the contracts today to make those systems communicate with each other? How long have they had those contracts? And how much have the taxpayers paid for them? Finally, Mr. Secretary, after the last hearing, I thought that my office was promised a written response to my question regarding the four war games on September 11. I have not yet received that response, but would like for you to respond to the questions that I've put to you today and then I do expect the written response to my previous question, hopefully by the end of the week. Um, uh, thank you, uh, Representative. Wealth and empty skies. Perception man is an animal, judging you. No more heroes anymore, but better things. Dignity. Selling a ship of madness. Through an ocean of lies. Dark waters burst the air. But inside there is a laughter that knows. The earth lamps with flowers to commemorate the funeral procession. As before, camouflage went underground. As reality won a state, mental collapse, a touring of heritage, illusions had attitude. Doctoring a plug of indifference, out of nowhere, sweet wine. Today, and then I do expect the written response to my previous question, hopefully by the end of the week. Um, uh, thank you, uh, Representative. First, the answer to your first question is, is no, absolutely not. The policy of the United States government is uh, clear, unambiguous, and opposed to, uh, to the activities that you described. The, um, the second question. Well, how do you explain the fact that um, DynCorp and its successor uh, companies have received and continue to receive government contracts? I would have to go and, and find the facts, but there are laws and rules and regulations with respect to government contracts. And there are times that corporations do things they should not do, in which case they tend to be suspended for some period. There are times then that, that the, under the laws and the rules and regulations for the, that uh, passed by the Congress and implemented by the executive branch, that corporations can get off of the pen, out of the penalty box, if you will, and, and be permitted to engage in contracts with the government. They're, they're not, generally not barred in perpetuity. This contract, this company um, was never in the penalty box. If you could proceed to my second question, please. The, um, the second question, uh, I've forgotten what the second question was. I think Ms. Jonas knows it. Okay.
Crash is for Master Crash. And I think that should be so right the way through the night. Just irreverent, the way that the subject is dealt with. These remaining archaeological evidences may be keys to eventually recovering and more fully appreciate. But what most people don't realize is that an anarchical being with this set. But the weak don't fare any better in peacetime. I am woman. I'll smuggle that order in my pussy. Next time I'm crossing to the other side. I am woman. Besides being afraid of what is inside my pussy, God demands you shall also and fear intellectual what laziness. is not. I would never be loved because I would never be happy, never be good to people, if I didn't become that artist. But there was a war in my way, and intellectual lazy shame. So I have no doubt if they don't like the taste of the spirit I got cooking, then they will get gonna down. bring down the wall streets and the wallets and the border too. Inside me. When I was 19. A baby. And. And I had fought my way out of incarceration, and learned the art of optics, and was introduced to a world known painter, who told me I was a genius. Hopefully this to the living. control. I knew I still is needed to tear down. As well. Something more. I funded culture for Would you believe in a god? After meeting a crew as a devil. That was still in my way. And well. That is just Reagan telling you I'm an angel citizen. When I realized economics has no value for a living human soul. So shut up. At last stay tuned. From the other side. That money and art were a paradox that seemed incomparable to the other's existence. Uh, thank you, uh, Ms. McKinney. I appreciate the question. I appreciate your interest in uh, our department's financial uh, condition, and uh, we are working very hard on that program. I've just come back uh, recently. This I understand that you're working hard on it, yes, but sir. my question was, who has the contract? How long has that, have uh, they had that contract, there are, and how much money have we spent on it? In general, we spend about $20 billion in the Department on Information Technology Systems. Uh, the, uh, the accounting uh, systems are part of that. I can get you the exact number for the record of what we spend on our current, what we call legacy systems, uh, and those that we're moving toward. And who has the contracts? Uh, that, that would be a multitude of uh, individuals. That Could you name them. some, please? Uh, well, I think off the top of the, uh, my head, well, I would rather not. I'd rather provide well, that for the record. That's not privileged information, is it? I'm sure it's not. Well, please. And we still have time, so please. I would be glad to provide for the record. I don't want to talk from the top of my head and be incorrect. The, um, on your first question, I'm advised by Dr. Chu that it was not the corporation that was engaged in the activities you characterized, but I'm told it was an employee of the corporation. And uh, it was some years ago in the Balkans that that took place. It's my understanding that that continues to take place. And Is that, that right? Yes. Well, and if you can I'm, give me information to that I'm effect. I'm sure you we are interested in all of the information that I have, and I'll be more than happy to provide it to Good. you. Good. Thank you. But I would also like to get information from you. Okay. For example, the information We're, that I just requested about who has those contracts. Certainly. Let me uh, 